Hi guys, uh, this is a photo of a painting that was sent to me by a student a few years ago and as you can see it's not quite right for an online exhibition or online display. Uh, the photo was taken indoors under artificial lighting, possibly fluoros, and you can see there's a, like a blue cast over the, uh, the image and uh, even the canvas um, has started to bow on the, uh, on the edges, it's not perfectly straight. So I'm just going to show you how to prepare this and fix it up ready for display um, online. So let's have a look at the size of it first. Uh, if I've got an image size in Photoshop, you can see it's quite big. It's 72 dots per inch, but disregard that for the time being. Um, look at the width. It's you know 5,400 pixels. So it's pretty big. Um, we don't need it that big, of course, so we'll actually bring that down in size. But first things first, let's start with cropping the image. So I'm going to click on the crop tool, and I'm just going to come in a little bit on uh, both sides and uh, just double click in the middle to accept it and so that's the image cropped the next thing I want to do is fix up the color and just get rid of that blue cast over the top now I've got a few options in uh, Photoshop I can go to image and choose one of those automatic functions auto tone or auto color so they work pretty good auto tone will do that if I just undo that and auto color very similar not too bad uh, so you can certainly try that. Uh, the other alternative is to do it manually, and by that I mean you go to Adjustments and choose Levels. And now here you've got these little uh, sliders, they're called, little um, triangles, and they can adjust the brightness or the contrast. Um, you can also click on Auto, but that doesn't do a great job. I tend to use the eyedroppers here. In fact, the white one, the first one here, uh, if you know that there's areas of white in the painting, if you just click on uh, that area with the white eyedropper, Photoshop will do its best to correct the image overall. So I'm pretty happy with that. Look, only you would know whether the color and the exposure is true, because if you painted it yourself, you would know what it's meant to look like. But let's just assume that this is perfect. Now I want to... Um, get rid of all that warping uh, and distortion on the sides and just make sure that you can't see the background. Let me unclick the layer for this next bit. Unclick the layer and then go to Edit, Transform, and I usually use Distort. You can use Warp, but I'll use Distort for this. And then you get these little handles that appear, this box that appears. And all you need to do is uh, just stretch them out, just grab the little handles and just pull it out until you hide some of the background at the same time basically you're correcting any warping uh, just got to be careful when you do this that you don't um, warp the artwork so much that it doesn't look like the original so a little bit of um, care making sure that you don't overdo it and then you press uh, return to accept it and uh, that's pretty good I'm happy with that so this is only for online display um, and again, you would know what, what it's meant to look like. So once you've done the color correction and the warping, the next thing is to uh, output it as a JPEG. And the easiest way to do this, so it's safe for web, is to go to File, Export, and Save for Web. And then this window opens up, and all you have to do is make sure that the uh, format is JPEG, the quality is on maximum and then down the bottom here where you've got width and height just punch in a number that you want it to, um, to be presented on screen on a browser so 800 is pretty good that's pretty standard that will give people a pretty accurate view of what the artwork looks like on screen if you want them to be able to click the artwork on the screen on your web page for instance to be able to zoom in a bit then just change that to 1600 That'll make it a little bit bigger, and then that gives them the option of zooming in as well. So once you've typed in uh, your new pixel width, click on Save. And at the top here, give it a proper name. So uh, if your name is Sam, put your name in. Um, then talk about the artwork. So title is, uh, let's call it Persephone. Just made that up. Uh, let's say it's acrylic paint. Uh, on canvas, uh, as much detail as you can. Make it make maybe it's 40 by 60 centimeters. Um, so as much information as you can put in the title, the better. And then just save it to your desktop. And once you've done that, guys, you can then email this to me or to anybody, in fact, 
and it's ready to be uploaded to any website uh, or any online exhibition. That's about it. Thank you.